What's up fam, I'm Ali Shazli, welcome back to more Vampire. We are about to heal the most sick people here, you know. We gotta find them first. Let me... That girl, she's not sick, okay. No need to check on her. That woman, I think she has fatigue, right? Yeah. Hey, a woman. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine as soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse. You won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Okay. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left for Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippetts does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Nice. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Are you eavesdropping? Good evening, Milton. Good evening, doctor. Still trying to save lives. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks, anyway. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Goodbye, Milton. Next! Okay, we gotta go back to the woman and her son. I think they are inside here, yeah. Going to heal you! Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? Hmm, see? I don't feel well, actually. See, the hospital's got for you. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Hmm, makes sense. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. No, make them reach the maximum health for you, you know, when you desire drinking their blood. Okay. Who else here do we have to... And uh, no. I think that nurse, yeah, she's not. That's Hiddick, we don't have it. Uh, anemia, no. Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. But the suffering continues. I swear I'm dead. Yet yeah, smiling inside, Dr. Reed. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. I wish I could be sick again. Okay. From my blood boil with the fever. That's a suspect. They have disgust. 
Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? Oh, yeah, he's not sick. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Okay, okay, who's next? Let me know. Who has fatigue here? If you have fatigue, come and visit me. Or I will come and visit you. Because I'm a good vampire. Good evening, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague. Oh, what? Dude. Goodbye, Dr. Tibbetts. Aren't you sick, dude? What? Oh, yeah. That's another one, actually. So... Yeah, they're so alike, dude. Harvey Frederick. Let me see... Yeah! Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Man, this game is so unique. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. Mm-hmm. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. How are your children? After losing their mother. They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. That said, dude. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Think. Wait, let me check. Yeah, that doctor. Yeah, that's him. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often.
Tell me, Waverley, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. Hmm, you're playing. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Yeah. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. <laughs> okay, man. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. <sighs> we... I think we cured most of them. We still have that dude, he has headache. And that dude, he has anemia. So, I'm not sure where can we get the medicine for them, you know? Who's that? Yeah, I talked to him. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I think he's good. Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? You don't have to worry about me, Dr. Reed. I am here to assist you, not to be a burden. Yeah. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. What else can we do here? Okay. Oh, we can do side missions, investigations. Oh, yeah. I will do that in the next video. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. And now, catch you later. Peace.